in Kingsville when I was 12 years old and Conjunto Bernal was famous even back then. He would play close to where I lived in Casey Hall and I would ask my dad that I wanted to go hear him and he would let me go and I would run all the way up there and uh, go around behind on the outside of Casey Hall and they had a water heater room and I would climb and sit on top of that little roof and it was just level where the bend was. And I would hear them play and sing, and they would turn around and, and they would see me through the window, and especially Manuel Solis, and he would just say hi, and it was just song and music. For me, it was something like uh, I was taking uh, music lessons or I went to, uh, to a concert. I was so privileged, I guess, in a special moment that uh, uh, for my heart to listen to the band that I admire, and I would hear them and hear them play and see them, and, and man, they would just, I would just go crazy listening to their music because they, they were so powerful and their music was out of this world, and I would see the people dance, and I would see, even see, I would see my brother in there dancing also. And it was such a joy to, to hear that uh, group play, and, and, and I to myself said, man, I wish, I hope that one of these days I could play with that band. My name is Raul de la Paz. I volunteer draft for the United States Army. Uh, my rank when uh, I was in Vietnam was Specialist 4. I was attached to the 168 Air Mobile Combat Engineer. It took me 16 hours to get to Vietnam. And uh, once we got there, I, uh, they took us to Long Bend. And one thing that I remember was uh, all of us that went to Long Bend, they got us into this compound. And it was still daylight, uh, and all of us that were there, they just got into country. Well, uh, all of a sudden we found out there was no lights and, and you couldn't see nobody anymore. All we could hear was everybody crying. You know, just like a, just like a daycare nursery. Everybody's crying. You hear somebody crying over here, and I was one of them. Everybody. But I guess it's one of the stages that we go through when we arrive into country that uh, you get it out of your system. You're gonna cry all you can and all, and that's it. So you kill, you can't cry no more. The next day, well, it's a different story. You get orientated. And then from there, well, they uh, send you to a company where you're gonna be stationed in Vietnam. Uh, I served in Vietnam for a year, from 68 to 69. I did eight months in the jungle with, I was in the Mekong Delta, attached to an Arab uh, Special Forces camp. Our job was to reinforce perimeters and uh, would make it very difficult for Charlie to penetrate our perimeters. We work a lot with claymores, napalm, C4, and uh, that was our job. here affords maximum cover for enemy snipers. Thick, heavy jungle undergrowth like this is also used by the Viet Cong to hide buried mines and anti-personnel weapons. When I was in the Mekong Delta, man, I, I, I would remember, and I can still to this day, uh, care packages that my mother would send and were homemade tortillas, cans of chile con carne, I had these two friends of mine, one was from San Antonio, uh, Tony Tovar, and one 
from Robstown, Ramon Sanchez. And we wouldn't make too much noise, so we would just get those tortillas and the chile con carne. And being engineers, we had C4. As long as you wouldn't put a detonator, it wouldn't explode, but we would get a piece of C4 and it had a little plate and light the C4 like it was to be a little fire and heat up the tortillas and chile con carne. And uh, nobody, we would just uh, uh, enjoy ourselves uh, like a little buffet, very special. And uh, those were some of the good times when your brothers in Vietnam become very close and, and care for each other and, and be drawn to each other and, and become so special to each other. Another thing that I, 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 I remember being in Vietnam was when I was getting ready to come home and I was at the airport and here comes this airplane with new uh, soldiers coming into Vietnam and I seen this guy from the back and I said, man, that guy looks like Chacha Jimenez. He and I, we grew up together back in Kingsville. So I got up and walked around and sure enough, he was Chacha. And he looked at me, I looked at him and he got up and uh, we, See, we hadn't seen each other in such a long time. So we gave each other a hug, and he gives me that hug that tells me, man, I'm so glad that you're here, Raul, that we're both gonna be here. It made me feel good to see him, and, and but then again, he, he thought I was gonna be there also, but it was the other way around. He got there, and I was getting ready to come back. So no, I told him, Chacha, hey, I'm, the plane you got here in, flew in here, I'm getting ready to go back to the United States. So he says, you know what, Raul? Well, that's good, you know what? But tell me one thing. I'll never forget this. This uh, man, it just touched my heart. Just tell me one thing, Raul. Which way are we gonna go fight? And I just said, hey, take your time. At that time, I remembered when I was, when I first got to country and they put us in that compound and all the crying and all of this, you know? So I just say, hey, take your time. You're gonna have your own moment. But uh, it felt so good to see my friend Chacha at the time. So I came back to the United States and uh, it made me uh, appreciate so much what we have here in the United States. Chacha and I were very good friends. We grew up together as kids playing football, baseball. As we got older, Chacha played the guitar, and he started playing at local bars like Ay Corral. I mean, this guy was such a tremendous musician that the Eloy Bernal, Conjunto Bernal, came later on and, and picked him up, and, and, and he was one of the members for Paulino Bernal. Chacha Jimenez was such an inspiration to all of us also because uh, he was so talented and... Uh, uh, everybody knew Chacha Jimenez, Paulino Bernal, Eloy Bernal, Luis Bernal, Manuel Solis. Uh, Los Relámpagos even played with uh, Paulino Bernal at one time. Uh, Gerardo Reyes. And uh, those were the good times that everybody had back then. It was uh, days that uh, you would go to a dance and you would get your $1.50. Uh, uh, it was worth going to the dance, in other words, and just having a good time and dancing and just such joyous days. I hope that one day I can play with that. On this magic night, when all dreams come true, when all dreams come true. I joined a band and with several bands uh, in, in Kingsville. And then uh, in the 70s, I had the privilege to audition for Conjunto Bernal. And uh, Eloy Bernal accepted me as one of the members. And it was such a, 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 an honor to, 
to be part of that conjunto because their music were, was something that uh, any musician would uh, be so proud to play with that uh, type of band, you know. It was such an honor to play con el conjunto Bernal. Uh, when I joined the, the, the band, I was a vocalist. My cousin, Lionel de la Paz, was the accordion player. Uh, Walel Mendares from Falfurrias was one of the voices, and El, and Eloy Bernal, uh, it was the, the three voices. Uh, it was a privilege and an honor, man, to play with Conjunto Bernal. After I played with Conjunto Bernal, I uh, came back to Houston, got married. I've been married for 33 years. I formed my own band, which now is a Grupo Feliz. And uh, we play every now and then, but uh, we just take our time because, you know, years have taken a toll. I would also like to, to, to talk about my brothers that didn't make it back to be their boys at this time to remember them and, 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 and give them special thanks to their families, to their mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, because they were part of those, uh, 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 those people that served in the United States Army or Marines. It, it, it was something that, uh, something that we cannot forget. So to them, I salute them and and, and their parents and their families and lots of love. Buenas 
Si la 